So what is a gravity wave? Imagine sound, waves in the air. How do you make a sound? You make a sound by waving something back and forth very quickly. So if you take uh, any object and, and vibrate it very quickly, what's going to happen is it's going to create a disturbance in the air and that propagates outward the sound waves. Similarly with electromagnetism, if you want to make light, what you do is you take a charged particle and you wave it back and forth rapidly and that creates electromagnetic waves that propagate out and we see as light. Gravitational radiation is the same thing. To make a gravity wave, what you do is you take anything with mass and you wave it back and forth. And what that does, instead of creating a disturbance in an electromagnetic field or in the air, what that does is it actually, because gravity, because mass bends space-time, it warps the fabric of space and time itself, waving something massive back and forth creates a disturbance in space and time that propagates outward as a wave, just like an electromagnetic wave or a sound wave would. That's a gravity wave. And you can t detect them because when that gravity wave passes, passes by you, it stretches and shrinks your body in various directions so that in principle, if you were sensitive enough, you could feel this distortion of space-time. The way we see it in the cosmic microwave background is a little different. What we see in the cosmic microwave background is that the light from the cosmic microwave background is propagating toward us from the very, very early universe. The further out we look in space, the further back we see in time. And that light is actually propagating through this background of gravitational waves that were created by the Big Bang, and those gravity waves polarize the light slightly. They move its direction in a particular pattern that you can pick out.